grown man business. Yeah, got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. All right, we're going to uh, talk about uh, the NFL injury report, man. We got a uh, got a lot of guys out, man. I'm just going to do a few of them. I'm going to do about five key players um, on this this episode. I might do some more later on. And uh, let me remind y'all, the only reason why I'm wearing this hat and not my Denver Broncos hat is because it don't match my shirt. Remember that. I will be changing clothes after this video here to put on this Denver Broncos hat, baby. All right, because I'm representing Denver for good, forever. That's what I'm rocking with right now. And uh, I just hate what they, you know, what's going on with Peyton Manning. <sighs> oh, man. You know, I'm, I'm listening to like Sports Center, all the other sports shows, and everybody's saying he's washed up, he's done, and I'm, I'm ready for him to, to prove everybody wrong. You know, um, all right, when well, he's he's first on my list right now, Peyton Manning, quarterback for Denver Broncos, sore ribs, um, I think he got a foot injury too. He got he got a few other injuries. I don't know if they're keeping it uh quiet. They don't want to talk about it, but it's them ribs that's really giving him problems. You know, you need them ribs to throw that football, you know, with uh, some accuracy and uh, even some velocity. So, yeah, he got some sore ribs and a uh, foot injury. And uh, Emmanuel Sanders, the Broncos wide receiver, he's uh, he's been dealing with some injuries, um, shoulder and ankle injuries. And uh, they even had him for a possible concussion from yesterday games against the Chiefs, so you know I'm gonna keep an update on that too. Watch out for that. And uh, T.J. Ward, I want to talk about his little uh, incident when he punched the guy in the head and everything. He got ejected from the game. Uh, he need to keep his cool, man. Keep his calm. I know he, you know, aggressive. I know he got a little temper on him, but we gotta be. Uh, we gotta be professional man we we got to be disciplined you know to leave he poked the guy in the eye he was out from for yesterday game we don't need any more guys to be out especially on their defense we need the defense more than ever right now to stand up uh, we we in the top of our division and we need to stay you know stay close to the Patriots and uh, the Bengals so and uh, Bruce Ivan He's a Seattle Seahawks linebacker. He injured his knee last night against uh, Arizona Cardinals. Now, that was a good game. Uh, the Cardinals win. They won. They tough. They toughened it out. They had some injuries. They had some turnovers. Cost the Palmer from the ball twice, and they, 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 they scored on both of them, really. But the defense scored on one of them. But they, 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 they managed to win. So that's a victory for the Cardinals. They, they looking real strong. Uh, Julian Elderman. This is important right here. This is a big, big loss for the Patriots. You know, he's a New England Patriots wide receiver. He broke his foot in a game against the Giants. Uh, he's expected to have surgery today. I'm going to keep up with that, update y'all. Um, they want, they wishing, they hoping that he'll be able to make it to the playoffs, um, to make it a return when they get to the playoffs, with uh, when they do a divisional uh, round of the playoffs. I don't know. I think he out for the rest of the season. He's a key player for um for the Patriots, man. Can they win without him? Can they still make it? Uh, they they struggle with with the Giants. And tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that was a catch with uh Beckham Jr.? I think that was a catch, man. He had both feet on the ground, and a couple seconds later, the guy knocked out his hand. The play should have stopped once um his foot. Both feet touch the um, the end zone, touch the ground. So I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I still think he should have kept his back turned. He should never try to turn around. Hold on to that ball, man. You gotta can't leave it up to the referees. You gotta um, secure that ball and um, credit it like a baby, man. That was a important, important play, and I, that that would have been an important win for the Giants. And Sam Bradford, all right, Eagles fan. <laughs> He's the Eagles quarterback. He suffered, and this right here sounds like a, a, a felony charge or some shit. A second-degree sprain of his left shoulder. It's not his throwing shoulder, but it's the AC joint. And he also suffered a concussion. 
And y'all know who, who came in to, uh, came in to, you know, relieve him or, you know, came in his spot. I don't want to say his name, man. Sanchez, butt fumble. It looks like he's going to be playing uh, next week. What y'all think about Sanchez? Can he, is he a good fit for this uh, Eagles offense or what? And, uh. Yeah, Bradford, he left in the third quarter until they lost to the Miami Dolphins. Uh, and for the for the Denver Broncos, man, Tim Tebow. Should have kept Tim Tebow, man. This would have been perfect for him to come in and uh, take the load off. You know, even during the games to, to give uh, Peyton Manning a break. You know, they should have had – but uh, Kubiak is not even that type of uh, coach, you know, to have that type of uh, rotation – with the quarterbacks, you know, use uh, use Tim Tim Tebow as a a, ro a, a, a mobile quarterback, some option reads, um, even you know, a wildcat offense, you know, but they didn't keep T Tim Tebow, and I think he can still play. He made history in Denver. Let's not forget, grown man business. I'm out.